Hey there. I'm excited that you're here watching our video gallery. I'm Veronica Quinones, the founder of North Star Senior Advisors. Recently, I met with my team and asked them to tell me the number one question that families ask them. And we all agreed that we are always asked, if it were your loved one, which assisted living facility would you choose? That's a tough question because we're not biased and we partner with several wonderful communities in the area. When we narrowed down search options for our families, it was based on budget, location, amenities, and level of care. With that being said, this is most definitely a personal choice, but I will tell you things that I would consider for my own loved one. We tend to choose based on our personal emotions and not factor in what our elderly loved ones want. Here's an example. I have families choose brand new fancy communities when their loved ones are more simple and prefer a smaller, cozy, home-like feel. Trust me, I get it. We want the best for our family members. Who doesn't want to give them the best options? Now, if it were my own mom, I know to put her in a glitzy place because that is what she's accustomed to in her everyday life. Where my dad, on the other hand, is a more simple guy and prefers to socialize with the guys and enjoys a home-cooked meal. Remember, your loved one feels nervous about the move. They feel as if they're losing their independence, they're going to be put away in a home. Include them on what may make them feel like they're home away from home and what they're accustomed to. Another thing to consider is closer is not always the best option, meaning just because it's convenient for you to visit their com them and their community, it's not always best. We can find what you're looking for, but it may be further. We're always told, find us something within the next 10 minutes from my house. Well, that may be great, but sometimes we may be able to find something within the next 30 minutes, exactly what you're looking for in your price range. Also, consider looking near where you work. Just because it's near your home, you can stop by on your lunch breaks to see mom or dad. Same goes for those living with memory impairments, such as Alzheimer's and dementia. Although they may no longer participate in their usual activities, they definitely know what they used to enjoy. They'll remember or they'll have some type of feeling. Try to find a community that offers amenities about, with things that they once enjoyed. For example, if your loved one used to garden, find a place where they can participate in gardening. They usually have memory care directors to help them with reminiscing on those tasks. These are just things to consider when making a decision about which community to choose for your loved one. We're happy to help guide you. Have a great day.